the harder you work for something the greater you will feel when you achieve it i repeat it again the harder you work for something the greater you will feel when you achieve it good morning everyone welcome back i hope all of you are safe and fit at home studying well and doing your work on time this video is for the students of class 8 subject english and this is my revision lecture number 5 students today in this video we shall revise our poem number 2 that is geography lesson it is written by famous poet zulfikar ghosh this poem is taken from honeydew book then we shall revise our chapter number 3 that is the selfish giant it is written by famous writer oscar wilde This chapter is taken from It So Happened book. Basically, in this video, we are not going to read these chapters in detail because we have already discussed them in detail. So today, in this video, we shall just have a review of these chapters. Then we shall discuss our homework solution of the homework, which was assigned you in lecture number one of chapter six, verb forms in conditionals. so let's start our revision with poem 2 the geography lesson before start reading the summary let's see the introduction of the poem the poem geography lesson is written by zulfikar ghosh a famous poet and novelist who was born in india before independence after independence he migrated to pakistan and now he is settled in the usa geography lesson is a 24 line single stanza poem that does not have any rhyme scheme in the poem the poet talks about three important things first how everything looks from the sky second how civilization was established and the reason behind the unorganized settlement and third his question to himself why people hate or kill each other to know more about the poem let's read the summary of the poem to geography lesson Before start reading the summary of the poem let me ask you a question Can you imagine how your city would look like when you see it from 10000 feet above the ground Here is a poet's description of just such a view of the city and some questions that come to his mind when he saw it from 10000 feet above the ground So let's read the summary to know about poet's opinion The poem is about the way earth looks from different altitudes. It is divided into 3 parts. When the jet takes off and starts to climb up in the sky, you can have full height view of the city. The city grew as per its necessity and did not grow as per proper planning. It does not have any particular style. It even looked Six inches from a certain height, revealing its true structure. When the jet climbs higher up to about ten thousand feet, he could apprehend means understand the fact that cities grew water resources. Water fulfilled the necessities like agriculture, transport, business. and others he found that valleys were populated which met the necessities of the people when the jet went above 6 miles there is more water than land on the earth while appreciating the geographical niceties of our planet the poet is unable to understand the tendency to 
build borders, to erect walls and to create fences. Then he reflected that people on the earth are selfish and narrow minded. Due to that they hate each other. He found the earth to be one but not the people living on this earth are divided for shallow reasons. Thus it is easy to understand the logic of geography from a height. However it is very difficult to understand why people hate and kill one another. This remains a mystery. So this is the end of the summary of poem 2 geography lesson. So now let's revise our chapter number 3 that is the selfish giant. Before start reading the summary let us know about the main characters of the story. character of the story is the giant. Giant is a complex character due to his physical attributes it is easy to take him as a brute and he feels more comfortable leading a lonely and secluded life. However, he is not devoid of compassion as is shown by his gestures to the little boy. The another main character is the boy. The boy is of tender age and short stature. He is unable to climb the trees and feeling sad due to it. But he is innocent and lacks fear for the giant. When the giant helps him, he kisses him and shows his gratitude. Another remaining characters are the kids. All other kids are shown as a collective of boisterous and mischievous bodies of energy. They are scared of the giant and his brutish appearance but they are attracted to the blossoms of his garden. So these were the characters of the story. First of all, let's see the introduction of the chapter, The Selfish Giant. Oscar Wilde wrote a simple and interesting story of divine intervention in nature. Coexistence and spreading love is the message of the story. The young boy was a messenger of God. He made the cruel giant repentant because he was not allowing his creations to blossom. When he broke the wall, happiness and beauty surrounded him in term of children and spring season. Detailing and personification of hail, snow is presented well in a garden. Now, let's read the summary of the chapter to understand it in detail. The opening lines suggest that the children were fond of playing in the giant's garden. It was a lovely garden with soft grass and beautiful flowers. It had 12 peach trees that flourished with pink and pearl flowers in spring season turn into rich fruits in the autumn. The children listened to the songs of various birds and thus lived in ecstasy. Ecstasy means feeling of great happiness. Their enjoyment had ended with the arrival of the giant who was away for last seven years to a friend's house. He was infuriated means very angry. 
when he saw children playing in his garden. He started shouting and built a high wall around it. He put up a notice that trespassing from his property is prohibited or trespassers will be prosecuted. The decision took a toll on means heavy harm on someone. Children as they did not have a place to play because if they play on the ground there was a lot of dust and stones. They were very sad and depressed. As the time passed by spring season came and flowers blossomed everywhere and little birds were chirping all around but it did not arrive in giant's garden there were barren winters only barren means without plants or fruits trees and flowers were not blossoming no birds were chirping However, the snow and the frost were happy. The snow covered up the grass with her white cloak. Cloak means upper long loose cloth. And frost covered trees. North wind was invited to stay by them. They brought creos in the garden. Then they planned to invite hail. He fell on the roof of the castle, means big buildings, and broke most of its slates. It was dressed in grey. However, the giant was waiting eagerly and was hopeful. One morning, the giant heard the melodious song of a bird. Initially, the giant thought that it must be the king's musicians passing by. Then, the giant rejoiced as he was sure that the spring has arrived. Rejoiced means to feel or show great happiness. He looked out and found that children were back. Every tree was blossoming as a child was sitting on its branch. The birds were flying, flowers were laughing except for a place where a small child could not climb the tree. The poor tree wanted the child as frost, snow and north wind were blowing on that. The giant realized his mistake and decided to break the wall. He went downstairs and opened the front door. But the children were frightened to see him. The small boy could not run away. The giant lifted the boy and put him on to a branch of the tree. The tree blossomed at once or once again. The child's behavior was changed and he allowed the other children to play in his garden. Then they entered the spring. Means when the children came to play in his garden, spring season came. Jubilant giant took an axe and knocked down the wall. Jubilant means happy or satisfied. People were surprised to see the children playing with the giant. The giant invited every child to visit his garden with special mention to the youngest child. But nobody knew him. The giant was kind to every child. Years rolled by. The giant grew old. He watched the children playing while sitting in an armchair. He said that the children are the most beautiful flowers of all. The giant no longer hated 
the winters one winter morning he was surprised to see the lovely white blossoms its branches were golden and bearing silver fruit there was the little boy standing underneath he was very happy and rushed towards him on seeing his hands the giant grew angry he wanted to punish the wrong doer but the child replied that those were wounds of love the giant was shocked to hear such an answer he then asked about him who replied gently that once he allowed him to play in his garden now he had come to take him to his garden which is paradise next day when children came to play in the afternoon they found the giant lying dead covered with white blossoms so this was the summary of chapter 3 the selfish giant students you have to complete your homework on the basis of the chapters explained by me and your homework is do assignment based on poem 2 that is geography lesson of honeydew book and chapter 3 that is the selfish giant of it so happened book which is uploaded in homework column on edquark website you have to do this assignment in your fair notebook now in this video we shall discuss the homework solution of the homework which was assigned you in lecture number 1 of chapter 6 that is verb forms in conditionals which is taken from pc rains grammar book students we have already discussed the meaning types uses of conditional sentences with examples in lecture number 1 of chapter 6 verb forms in conditionals as i assigned your homework which was to be done by you on the basis of your understanding and your homework was revise chapter 6 that is verb forms in conditionals from the book or video and based on the understanding of the topic do exercises mentioned in the book pc rains grammar as page number 38 exercise number 1 and 2 page number 39 exercise number 3 now let's discuss the exercises in detail exercise number 1 complete the sentences with the correct form of the verbs given in the brackets number 1 if you catch the bus you dash there in time answer is will can may get the first conditional sentence is used to talk about future possibility number 2 if she dash here i will phone you answer is come the first conditional sentence is used to talk about promises number 3 if you try again you dash answer is will succeed The first conditional sentence is used to talk about real world fact. Number 4. If you hit iron it dash. Answer is expense. The zero conditional sentence is used to talk about scientific facts. Number 5. We dash ready if you come at 5. Answer is will be. The first conditional sentence is used to talk about promises. Number 6. If they dash today, I will ring her up. Answer is come. The first conditional sentence is used to talk about promises. Number 7. I will see him if I dash free. Answer is am. The first conditional sentence is used to talk about real world fact. Number 8 If we dash we will miss the train answer is 
do not hurry or don't hurry the first conditional sentence is used to talk about warnings let's discuss the exercise number 2 complete the sentences with the correct form of the verbs given in the brackets number 1 if he dash i would have phoned you answer is had come the type 3 conditional is used to talk about excuses number 2 if it hadn't rained we dash cricket answer is would have played the type 3 conditional sentence is used to talk about excuses number 3 if i were you i dash the offer answer is would accept the type 2 conditional sentence is used to give advice number 4 if you dash her she would have come answer is had invited the type 3 conditional sentence is used to show regret past action number 5 i dash him if i had been free answer is would have met the type 3 conditional sentence is used to talk about excuses or used to show excuses number 6 if i had lots of money i dash round the world answer is would have traveled the type 3 conditional sentence is used to show imaginary situation number 7 if you had run you dash the bus answer is would have caught the type 3 conditional sentence is used to show regret past action Number 8 If I dash in America I would earn a lot of money Answer is lived The type 2 conditional sentence is used to show unlikely situations Number 9 If we dash now we would get there by lunch time Answer is started The type 2 conditional sentence is used to show hypothetical situations Number 10 I wouldn't do that if I dash you answer is were The type 2 conditional sentence is used to show unlikely situations Number 11 If I dash her she might have come answer is had phoned The type 3 conditional sentence is used to show imaginary situations Number 12 If I knew her address I dash you answer is would tell The type 2 conditional sentence is used to show hypothetical situations Before start solving the exercise number 3 let me tell you again the use of I wish sentences in conditional sentences I wish sentences are used to say that something is not happening or happened in the way as we wanted it to happen we use wish plus simple past tense to refer present situations we use wish plus past perfect tense to talk about past situations so let's see the exercise rewrite the sentences using i wish one has been done for you Number 1 I don't have a scooter Answer is I wish I had a scooter Number 2 I don't know his phone number Answer is I wish I knew his phone number Number 3 I am rather short The meaning of the sentence is I am very short Answer is I wish I were not short or shorter Number 4 I am not a good singer Answer is I wish I were a good singer Number 5 I didn't meet him Answer is 
आई विश आई हैड मेट हिम नंबर सिक्स आई फॉर गॉट माई अम्ब्रेला आंसर इज आई विश आई हैड एंड फॉर गॉटन माई अम्ब्रेला नंबर सेवेंथ आई कैनॉट कुक आंसर इज आई विश आई कुड कुक नंबर एट आई मिस्ड द ट्रेन आंसर इज आई विश आई हैड एंड मिस्ड द ट्रेन so these exercises you have to do in your book or in your fair notebook note the important information on saturday solution of assignment will be uploaded on edquark website on monday test will be conducted and uploaded on edquark website no video lectures will be uploaded on saturday and monday so this is the end of the lecture students if you like our videos give a hit on the like button and don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you and have a nice day